big rats, to be honest. Uh, they are massive, but there's two of them, and they were fighting. Well, first, we had them nibbling at one another, and Manu said, kiss, kiss, kiss. <laughs> and then they were fighting with one another. Are they gerbils? They've got very long back feet. There's two of them. There's the other one. I don't know what they are. Pouch rats? I don't know. I've seen them running around, but I haven't sat, they had them sit still, still enough to actually be able to identify them. Louis says we should just call them mouse creatures. We can call them mouse creatures. I'm going to clean myself. I'm going to lick my hands and then I'm going to rub them over my face and make sure that it's nice and clean. This is amazing. Like, this is what I dream of when I come on a safari, but now I'm a bit strange, of course. I love seeing these smaller things and watching uh, animals in infrared like this that we wouldn't normally be able to see. Because, honestly, I don't think any of the presenters can say that they have got much experience in watching gerbil and mice and rats and whatever do their thing. I, I surely, except for the fact that my brother had a rat once, uh, I used to call it Mousy. Its name wasn't Mousy. Its name was Quinnan, though. It was the coolest thing in the whole world. And one thing I do know about these creatures is that they're actually incredibly intelligent. They are amazing at solving problems and well, sort of using their nose to find food, which is pretty cool. And they're everywhere at the moment. And this is why I don't understand what we don't, why we don't see snakes more often, because there's an abundance of food around. This is also something that a jackal would be going for. Which, uh, which is probably one of actually some of their main food sources. That barn owl that you saw with Tristan, you get them on this side too. They would also love to go for a little treat. That little, didn't you think it's got a little hole in its ear? Can you see that? It's Daryl. Daryl the mouse. <laughs> I'm just joking. Daryl's an elephant. has a bell shape or a Snapchat sign in, in one of his ears that I used to see almost every single day down in the Sabi sand. And it's the it's Scott's best friend actually, Daryl Scott's best friend. Now, Paula, you've said it looks like a gerbil. Does it have a long tail? They do have very long tails. In fact, I think it's a gerbil. the 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 fact that it has got sort of very very long back feet, you don't really see that with a with, with rats and mice. Maybe so. Maybe bushveld gerbil. They're quite big too. Probably about the maybe actually even bigger than the size of my fist. If you if you squash a fist, I haven't got particularly big hands though. So I would say an average size human hand. If you uh, bunched it up in a ball, that's about their size. I also don't know if it's male or female. Though this one looks maybe looks like it's a could be a male. I'm just looking obviously for uh, the scrotum, to be frank. But they're right next to the car as well. They're less than a meter away from us. Just chilling. Didn't mind. They were on the road. I think one was digging for something. Maybe they'd stashed some little treats. Oh, hello. I don't know how many sightings we've had like this on Safari Live. It'd be quite interesting to see what, what they get up to. I mean, typically rats have got very, very long tails. Mice have got long tails too, but in proportion to their body, they're not quite as long. Woo! Wow, look at that bit of a battle going on there sizing one another up maybe they're two males and they're having a bit of an argument that's quite exciting i think they're going to do it again oh no mating mating oh my goodness never did i think coming on a safari this evening i would see mating rodents this is very exciting i've never seen this happen before wow look at him go that's actually lasting for quite some time that was a lot longer <laughs> Louise, stop laughing because you're going to make me laugh. <laughs> this is supposed to be professional. And I can <laughs> Sorry, everyone. Money is also giggling now. We've ne I've never seen this before. Money, have you ever seen this before? I wouldn't be even be able to tell you how many. <laughs> I wouldn't even be able to tell you how many times they would mate. Have we have we decided if they're gerbils or rats? I, I don't I'm I they look very much like bushfell gerbils. They do, but they could also be rats. I don't I don't know the, the rodent species too well in this area. That was fantastic. This is a new experience for me and I think a new experience for a lot of you too. So not fighting. It's actually just sort of playful I suppose but but a play before we get down to business. That's the male on the right hand side. Most certainly, I, I, that looks very much like male. They look like the squirrels in there. And, and often with squirrels and with rats and mice, it, it, they're quite oversized for the size of their body. The other one's just having a quick groom. Oh, that's amazing. 
<laughs> I can't believe it. I left my lions for this. I'm kind of glad that I did leave the lions because they went back to sleep just by the way. They sat down, they crossed the little lugger we got around and only to see them sleeping. That's an exceptionally long tail as well. That's one at least two and a half times the length of its body. Oh, wow. Oh, uh, yes, that's... I'm not even... That's... <laughs> that's so... I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm like, I need to leave. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> I'm so sorry, I cannot contain myself right now. This is one of the best sightings. <laughs> this is one of the best sightings I've been in my life. I'm crying. I'm so sorry, everybody. Wow. Well, now I can say <coughs> that when I go home tonight and I tell my mom what I saw on safari, she's going to be so excited. <laughs> And off they go. I can't watch them anymore. That was fantastic. I don't think it's going to get any better than that. Woo! Manu, did you enjoy that? Were you recording? Oh my goodness. Let me just wipe the tears from my face <laughs> while I try and compose myself. I'm so sorry. That was that was very overwhelming for me and I hope that it, you all giggled as well because I actually didn't know how to even, I don't know what to say about that sighting, but it was amazing. And I feel like I've learned a lot from that. And while I try and compose myself, it seems as though Tristan has got one of the new favorite characters right down.